All right, FAQ number 42. Are we the bride or the body of Christ? I've seen this thing come up in some of the comments, and um, I can tell you the, the type of people that are doing this, are they're called Baptist briders. Uh, basically what the teaching is, is that um, there's the body of Christ, which is the whole, all of the saved people, but the bride of Christ is only a small, little small remnant of faithful Baptists. <laughs> okay. But the, you say, how do you debunk this? Very easily. Turn in your Bible to Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22. Is it possible to be the bride and the body as well? You know, let's look about that. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. And he is the savior of the body. Okay, so uh, in a marriage, who, you know, what's the symbology there? The husband is symbolized kind of like Christ. Okay, let's continue. Verse 24. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Okay. Now, is the wife the bride of the husband? Yes. Okay. Class, we all have it, you know, together. Let's say it all together. You know, yes. <laughs> yes, the wife is the bride of the husband. The wife, you know, the church is the bride of Christ. You got that? Continue. Verse 25. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church. See the comparison there? And gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. How can't these people see this? He that loveth his wife loveth himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth, cherisheth it, even as the Lord the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. Okay, right there you have it. We are members of the body of Christ. Verse 31, For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. You got that? This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife even as himself, and the wife see that she reverence her husband. I mean, could it be any clearer? A wife, her relationship to her husband is, that she is his bride, and she is also joined to his body through the marriage act. Okay? They become one flesh. And that doesn't mean that they are equal parts. No, they are each unique in their um, position, so to speak. Okay? It doesn't mean that, the, that women are inferior somehow to men. No, it just means that men have a different position in the marriage. Okay? Just as we have a different, you know, situation than the Lord Jesus Christ, okay, as Christians. So you have the wife there is the bride, and she's also part of her husband's body. And to try and say, oh no, she's, you know, she's his bride, but not the body, or she's in the body, but not the bride, or, that's just ridiculous, okay? And it's obviously very clear here in Ephesians chapter 5 that this is giving it as an analogy, our marriages husbands and wives are an analogy of our relationship to Jesus Christ. And yes, you can be part of his body and also the bride. All right. It's a very simple thing, but you see these little heresies pop up and you get these people like the Baptist briders and you know, you're you might be part of the body, but you're not part of the bride of Christ, you know. You have to be married to him and you have to, you know, be separate from all those other filthy Christians that are truly saved. So you'll be the part of the, you know, you'll be the bride up there in heaven and, and everybody else stands by and watches, you know, the body of Christ watches as the faithful Baptist briders get married to Jesus Christ. Absolute nonsense. Yes, we are the bride and the body of Christ as Christians. Don't let anybody fool you, you know, into, into believing otherwise.